We are now gonna go on to our sixth and final type of construction, which is creating, or excuse me, constructing congruent angles. So two angles that are the exact same size, exact same shape. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I need to draw an angle, and I'm gonna draw myself a nice acute angle. And I'm gonna use the straight edge of my compass. I'm not going to just freehand it. I'm gonna actually draw it as accurate as possible here. And I'm gonna label this point where my two rays intersect my vertex as point A. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin by drawing a ray with endpoint B. So where my vertex is, I'm gonna draw myself another vertex over here. This is gonna be my point B. I'm gonna start by drawing a ray. So a ray that kind of matches the same ray that's already on the other angle. Nice straight line. Here's my first ray. From here, I'm now gonna place the compass on my point A and I'm gonna draw an arc that intersects both sides of the triangle. So I'm gonna take my compass, the circle goes into point A, I'm gonna hold my finger there in place and then I need to choose a um, arc that's going to intersect both sides of this angle. I always like to use the inner circle and so I just wanna make sure that if I move this, it's gonna to touch both of my rays and it does. So since I like that one, I'm gonna use it. And I've created an arc. Now, without moving your slide rule, right, so without changing your radius, I'm now going to come over here to point B. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Do not change your radius, otherwise you will not get the same answer or the same construction. So I'm drawing a nice big arc here because I want it to intersect on the other side. Now I'm gonna name my intersection points. This one on the top over here by A, I'm gonna name this point C. I'm gonna name this other intersection point D. And then I'm gonna name this point over here as point E. Now, my I'm gonna take the radius that I still have not moved and I'm gonna set that radius of the compass the length of CD, but if you um, didn't move your compass, you should be fine. So I'm going to set it equal to C, D. So here's from C to D. I'm gonna move it so that these are on the two points, right? There's C to D. Okay, and then I can make even like a little marking over there so that I know, hey, those are the same. Right? Now, keeping that radius from C to D, I'm gonna take my compass, I'm gonna take the point, I'm gonna put it over here on E. Now, from here, I'm going to draw an arc that intersects the arc that I've already drawn. Okay, where my two arcs intersect, I'm going to name this point P, or excuse me, point well, yeah, I can do a point P. So I'm now going to take my straight edge and I'm going to connect point B to point P. Again, I wanna use the straight edge, I don't just wanna eyeball it. And now I have created two angles that are congruent to one another. And now you're finished. So go ahead and pause the video and give it a try.